this this moment when I'm going to share with you the vision for Orange Pavo. What a strange name, and I'll tell you what the name's all about in just a second. All right, let's talk about Orange Pavo for a minute. There's a reason why I, I call this business, this community, Orange Pavo. Uh, I read a story a while back about a, a, a mother whose son always referred to Wednesday as orange and not Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, orange, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, orange, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And her comment was this, don't try to fix my son, try to figure out why he calls Wednesday orange. And so that, 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 that um, orange has stuck in my mind and I, I, I've, on Wednesdays I wear an orange shirt for that reason is that there has to be a motivation behind that. I believe that we have an undiscovered group of people in our community and that undiscovered group of people in the community are those who have Asperger's or autism. And they have incredible gifts, talents, and abilities and sometimes they're hiding behind Wednesday being orange. And, and and so that was the first word, orange, pavo. Pavo is the Latin word for peacock. And the orange pavo, the peacock, the, 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 the one who struts his abilities, the one who struts his capabilities, the one who shows his color. And sometimes that undiscovered portion of the population can't do that, so I'm committed to doing that for them. So let me give you the vision for Orange Pavo is to build a community of people who are committed to helping those who have intellectual developmental uh, disorders, difficulties in learning on a normal path. The, what, what, what our system calls a normal path, they're on a different path than that. And just because that path is different doesn't mean that they're lost. That's hence the uh, title that you'll see on the Facebook page there. They're not lost. They're just undiscovered. And that discovering those talents and those abilities and those gifts are going to make a huge difference in how we're able to help them to impact the world. And you'll see articles I'm gonna share here and lots of other stuff that's going to be helpful to you. And um, I, I'm counting on you being able to take that information, use it in a positive way. But this is gonna be so much more than just about sharing information. We're gonna share information here, but we've shared a lot of information. There's a lot of information available, but what we really wanna talk about now isn't just the information, but how do we go about making a difference? How do we take that information and use it to make a difference? I think there are nine ways in which our world needs to be touched and impacted right now. And I, this is the portion of the population that I've made the decision I'm going to make a difference with. Okay, and so these are the, the, the those nine areas, and I'm not going to cover the nine areas, but I'm going to tell you six of them. They're going to be included in Orange Pavo. All right. So you, th this is what the vision laid out looks like. All right. The first one is, the first place where we make a difference is cultivating love, relationships, and communication, and that's part of what we're doing here. We're introducing the world to an undiscovered portion of the population because we love them, we care about them, they're important to us, and they've been uniquely gifted and talented for a purpose. We help, we're gonna help discover what that purpose is. Number two, and that is raising social awareness and empowering people. We're gonna raise the awareness in the community of the value and the benefit that, that this portion of the population has and brings to the table in the things that they are uniquely gifted and talented to do. And sometimes we think that that's just IT, and it's not. It's, it, it's the whole gamut of things, and we're going to be sharing those with you as we go. Number three, producing healthy and sustainable food. And I can't tell you what that means right now, but I can, I can tell you this. It's a big part of the puzzle, all right? It's a big portion of the puzzle. We're working on a project even today to try to start making that happen. Number four, uh, healing. Healing. Just helping parents and helping families and helping uh, educate, helping people to understand this is not a hopeless situation. And we can help you with that. And we can bring heal helping brings a tremendous amount of healing. Number five, providing sustainable consumer products. I, I, I believe that this isn't a place that you make a space for. This is these. This is. This, is a, this population doesn't need space. What they need is they need an opportunity. 
and we're going to give them opportunity opportunity to create things that can be valuable and meaningful and, 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 and a viable part of the economy, the local economy, maybe even the national economy, but the local economy. And number six, working directly with nature. Something about working directly with the world that we live in makes a huge difference in how effective uh, that whole healing process takes place. And so we'll be focusing our attention on those six areas as we provide opportunity for those, as I have said in the about on this page, for those who are identified with IDD, uh, helping that, that's intellectual, developmental, and I don't like the word disability, so I just call it disorder. Uh, I, I said for a long, long time, there has to be a path. There has to be a path that we can make normal for people who are traveling on a different path so that they can feel the, 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 the fulfillment and the purpose. Hate to compete with diesel trucks. Fulfill the, the, the purpose for which they're here. And there's something incredibly powerful about that. And so I'll be introducing those things to you as we go. But that's a glimpse of the vision. That's a glimpse of the vision that will happen with Orange Pavo. All right, we're going to discover why it's orange, all right? And we're going to strut the abilities and capabilities and gifts and talents of a population that is completely undiscovered. We're gonna introduce the world to them. And I'm excited about it. I'm very excited about it. And I'm glad that you're on this journey with me. Thank you for coming in today. Uh, I look forward to talking to you soon.